Hi everyone, I'm Jonathan Martin. First up tonight, we have this video just in from Palm Beach International Airport, where former President Donald Trump just landed. This was moments ago. This comes after a historic day in American history, with Mr. Trump now facing several felony charges after going before a judge in New York today. So here's what we know tonight so far. Trump has pleaded not guilty to 34 charges related to alleged hush money payments made to adult film star Stormy Daniels. His next day in court will be in December. His lawyer are right now asking that he be excused from attending that hearing in person over security precautions that would need to be in place. Now, the judge has also asked both sides to refrain from commenting right now, which he says could lead to civil unrest. Meantime, all eyes were on TV, TV screens across the nation watching the first American president formally indicted on felony charges. A highly choreographed scene unfolding in Manhattan as former President Donald Trump is arraigned on criminal charges. With Secret Service in tow, former President Donald Trump appeared before a New York City judge on Tuesday, facing multiple charges of falsifying business records in connection with alleged hush money payments made on his behalf ahead of the 2016 election. He committed no wrong, not a misdemeanor, not a felony, not a traffic ticket. There is nothing here. I still can't believe um, this is going to survive our, our vigorous motions um, to dismiss. The judge presiding over Trump's arraignment denied a request to allow cameras to cover the proceedings live after the defense argued it could create a circus-like atmosphere outside the courthouse. An attorney for Trump called the case politically motivated. Today's unsealing of this indictment shows that the rule of law died in this country because ev while everyone is not above the law, no one's below it either. And if this man's name was not Donald J. Trump, there is no scenario we'd all be here today. President Trump, will you please come take some questions? How did you plead? Manhattan criminal cases typically take years to play out. Legal experts say this case could pose a challenge for District Attorney Alvin Bragg, as the indictment against Trump relies on an untested legal theory that potentially elevates a misdemeanor to a felony. He ran on a platform that he was going to get Trump, and he bragged. Oh, well. Famously, so you're going to see a lot of attacks on this indictment by motions. After his arraignment, Mr. Trump boarded his private plane, Trump Force One, and returned to Florida, where he plans to address his supporters later tonight.